What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. I've got Superstar Joe and Superstar Joe in the house. How's it going? Hashtag blame Rob down in the comments below. He was not able to make it today. Our schedules didn't match up and uh, kind of we tried to figure it out. He was almost able to make it on, but uh, that's why this video is coming out a little bit later. Uh, we tried our best, but was not able to get it done. Anyway, I'm here. So you guys are gonna have to deal with my pretty face the entire video. We've got Superstar Money, subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button down below. If you hit that, I promise you that on fireworks, uh, whenever you have some fireworks going on, like we do today in Canada, it's Victoria Day. Happy Victoria Day to all you Canadians out there watching. When you blow up the fireworks, you're going to see some stars in the sky and you're going to become very, very happy. Just instant happiness will fall on you from the fireworks. Trust me, it's a, it's a gem. It's working for me today. Uh, even though Rob isn't here, I'm still very, very happy. See? But let us continue. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Send us your videos. Send us your pictures. We will retweet them. Put them on t- put them on Instagram. Put them on TikTok, and uh, give you all the types of credit that you deserve. And follow us on the VV app with um, Fastos number six nine zero nine up for nine point nine million. You follow us. We see it. We follow you back. You get some more MCP points. And when MCP program comes, hashtag soon, then you will have more points than you did. If you didn't do this, so just trying to help everybody out by getting that done. When I have to talk the entire time, it is a little bit harder on my voice. So bear with me in this video, but I have some juicy things to talk about. So um, first off, my setup is completely different. My I got a new desk and it's like way higher up right now. And I'm sitting like higher. My feet don't touch the ground. It's weird. There's all papers there. Don't look at that. All my private information is over there. So I don't need anybody hacking me. But um Right now, basically trying out the new setup. I like the angle a little bit better. I'm not looking so much to the right. Uh, maybe one day we'll show you guys the setup. But as I mentioned, um, we got Victoria Day in Canada, and Vivi's recognizing that. So shout out, Vivi, for recognizing the fellow Canadians. Um, we got the fireworks. Wrong shape fireworks. Should be some stars going on there, but I'll forgive them. They didn't obviously subscribe yet. Um, but when they do subscribe, they'll get a little bit star-shaped fireworks. If you've never seen them, you got to subscribe. That's the only way that you will see them. Um, the next thing I wanted to point out is we got this comic dropping tomorrow. And uh, Todd Knock, I think, I don't know if that's how you say it. He uh, he put a post, I'll shout out Superstar Laura for uh, letting us know that he mentions that the colorist is a superstar. So shout out Superstar Rochelle Cherry for following our channel because that's clearly what he means when he says superstar. And um, anyways, I replied to this. And I said, um, you are both superstars for sure. Great choice by Vivi. And of course, um, he liked it. The artist liked, liked it there. So you can see Todd Knock right there liking it. So he knows what, he's, what I'm talking about, exactly what I'm talking about. He's a superstar. Proves it. Also, if you see in the bottom right here in the messages, we got Bones Boneville or bon, Bonneville. Bones Bonneville with the Batman logo in the front. He put us on to a huge tip. So I'm going to make myself big here for a little bit. Um, I want to show you guys something. You guys have this? If you guys have this duck, just do one of these guys, all right? Let's see if I can do it while looking at the screen. Do one of these guys, all right? And zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in. And what do you see, guys? What do you see inside the head? Look at that. There's like a chip or something. Let me Let me see if I can get a better view of it. Oh, yeah, that's a good view. Hold on. Look at that. His head is too big. There you go. I'll hold it. You see that? There's a chip inside the duck's head. So why do we got that chip inside the head? Shout out to Bones Bonneville for pointing that out. It's really weird that that's in the head. There's no reason for it to exist. Um, But a perfectly square chip inside the duck's head. Is that something to do with gamification? How would that even help gamification? I don't know. Rob thinks maybe it is, but I still don't understand it. I think maybe it's just like some some weird way that they decided they want to do um, the design or whatever. They always use that as an excuse when it comes to these weird renderings that uh, people find. But let us know what you think. If you know better, if you're a 3D modeler, what is that? Why is there a chip inside the duck's head? I want to know if it is imported or not. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go back through Vivi's uh, tweets here quickly. 
Actually, I think I'm done with that. So yesterday, we put, or day before yesterday, we put out a video that said uh, all your – maybe yesterday. Your secret rare – sell all your secret rare stuff. And uh, we got a lot, a lot of – a lot of backlash on it. And I thought we made some good points. And I still kind of stick by those points that we made. But uh, shout out to another superstar, longtime superstar. I remember seeing this guy in the comments all the time. So we're going to give him some credit right here. We got superstar Kryptoni. Um, Asking us on Twitter, you asked in the end of your video if I had any question. Here's one. Why would I keep watching your streams just to hear that my investment is crap or going to zero? Every stream, though, just a question. Guys, first off, we just like to point out the market sentiment. And uh, we don't like to see anybody losing money um, unnecessarily. I think that there's been a lot of instances in which if you did sell during this whole down run, you kind of ended up doing all right at the end of it. But... Uh, we definitely, definitely, definitely are going to make a video when Rob's back. I wanted to do it today, uh, talking about the upsides of VV and why it's so uh, attractive to us long term. I mean, right now, just because we're making videos telling you it's going to zero, uh, that is all short term thinking. And we mentioned it multiple times. So I guess if somebody were to stumble upon our videos, they might not quite understand it if they just read the title. But if you jump into any video and watch it at full length, we always talk about how we're big time on VV. We, we always think that VV is uh, going to do well long-term. It's just that certain things have to happen first. And until that happens, uh, we get charts like this. Um, and that blue line is what we're looking at. And, and it's been holding up, considering that there's been like zero talks in the NFT space. Like uh, I know there was VCon this weekend, so that might have given a little bit of a boost to some gems coming into the app or whatnot. Um, but even overall for the NFT space, there might have been a little bit more talk about it. Actually, I'm going to even pull it up here. This is all on a whim, guys. So you guys are going to have to look at me while I do some Google Trends searching. Um, but that's okay. Um, BEV. Sorry, guys. It's off screen. Uh, worldwide. No, we're not looking any better at all, guys. Um, there you can see we don't have the uptick. Maybe a little bit of an uptick. But uh, that could always be from uh, VCon or whatever people searching it. Um, also, though. Speaking of big up and coming things, it's um, there was a lot of talks today. Gary V finally addressing the VV um, content. I know that he put out a video and he was talking about how somebody asked him about big IP NFTs, and he's like, "Well, when those come, they're already here. We already know that we have them on VV." Uh, so he got a lot of flack about it, and people asking him like, "Why did you say that? What, what's going on with you?" And he basically we retweeted a bunch of them, but. Uh, well, Rob retweeted them. First, I couldn't agree more about who cares what I think. I'm just one person. Number two, I cheer for VV, period. The end. So he's a big VV guy. I adore VV. I have no interest in guru life. I'm just one dude that is just a person like everyone else. Also, my small investment in Recur isn't a meaningful part of my world. So he's kind of bashing Recur there, in my opinion. And for me, it's exciting to hear about Immutable VV. If that happens, if that happens because it becomes decentralized. So if Immutable and VV takes out where you can actually take your collectibles off of VV and becomes decentralized in a way. And I think that's, that's all right. As I think as long as they make it where you can't do anything really with it off the app and you need to kind of be in the app or be in the VV verse long-term, you want, you always want people to be coming back to VV, right? Um, or else like, I guess selling things off app or whatever, it's good for, it's good for it, but you want the utility to be in VV or to be like real world utility. Um, but the 3D AR capabilities that should stay within VV, kind of give it its home, its place. You can always bring it in, you can always bring it out. But when you bring it out, it's decentralized. You can hold on to it. Nobody can do anything to it. Uh, I'm still wondering how they're going to play that off, especially if they they mentioned they're going to do all these upgrades to collectibles as time goes on, like maybe quality wise. Um, who knows? Couldn't agree more. I'm wildly insignificant, uh, and VV will win on execution, like every project. PSI root for VV very heavy, like other projects and platform. Um, on top of this, our good buddy Rob, Rob Stuff, go follow him on Twitter, follow him on YouTube, great channel, streams uh, quite a bit about VV, HRO, a bunch of content uh, in the NFT space. What I find funny about the entire Gary V, VV official debate is that Gary constantly preaches not to care what others think, yet so many people on the VV side care what he thinks. It's quite the conundrum. And he's not wrong. A lot of people have been, have been, uh, bashing Gary V for not talking about it. We know that he did have some talks with Dan and David, I think early on, and maybe they were working out a, a deal and uh, couldn't get it done. Who knows? Nobody knows exactly what happened, 
but uh, it seems that um, it seems that maybe it's just things that don't work out. But uh, so so Sal Sakesh Sal Sakesh responds, "Yeah, honestly, don't care what he thinks about Vivi. We are so ahead of the competition." And then Gary V responds to that and says, "Facts. He's one person who is a cheering for Vivi, and number two has no impact on Vivi winning." So he keeps going back to the well, posting the same comment in a different couple of different ways, but basically. He's saying that he wants Vivi to succeed. I guess it's because if Vivi succeeds, he knows that maybe his projects in the NFT space succeed. Also, he might even have a little bit of interest in the project, but he just doesn't want it to come out yet. He has a really solid following, right? He has a lot of people who follow him who um, will maybe be disappointed if they get into an app and then there is no cash out. Maybe that's really important to him to have the safe face. He doesn't want to bring in all his V fans or whatever you call them and uh, have and have them be disappointed kind of similar to why maybe disney's not not advertising anymore uh and i think maybe vivi's kind of at the helm telling them like yo guys chill it out a bit we're going to be there soon and the q2 and the q3 this year then we're ready to go full force vivi has mentioned previously that q3 or no, it's not q3 2022 is their launch year even though we know they've been around since like 2020 um so that's curious but um really cool to see a big name like gary v who's huge in the nft space talking about Vivi on Twitter, responding to like the community members. Really, really cool to see that. So I think that long-term guys, we have nothing to worry about. we got big names watching. Um, I'm sure that there's celebrities watching. I'm sure that there's people watching all day, every day. Who knows who's watching this video right now? So leave a comment down below. They might scroll down through the comments and see your comment. You might be talking to Gary Vee in the comments down there. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Is Gary Vee waiting to advertise? Um, I don't know. Maybe he'll see this and uh, he'll go and reply to our tweet. We tweeted at him today too as well. So uh, if that happens, that'd be pretty cool. But if not, it's okay. I think long-term, Vivi's going to be just fine. And uh, we need to make sure to mention that today to address the critics. Um, we are pro Vivi. We post a video every single day on Vivi, guys. Who does that if they're not pro Vivi? All right. Um, just because I sold off some stuff to get some gems doesn't mean that I'm against Vivi. I think that long term even having the gems is not a bad thing i talked about that in that video as well if i have gems say amazing fantasy 15 comes out i got a ton of gems i can pump into that right that's going to be a grill if that ever comes uh we're expecting that it will if darth vader comes i have a ton of gems to pump into that why do i need a partner statue why do i need a secret or spider-man i can't buy both i can't have everything so i'm not worried about having gems right now i just know that i have opportunity right now when you're sitting in some gems and that's the reason why i i think that I personally have not bought back in yet, but I will buy back in. So remember that that line for everybody watching. I will buy back in at some point. What I'll buy, I have no idea yet. If I see some low, low mints, if I see a really good steal, I'm going to buy it. I got the opportunity in my bag right now, right? Um, and I'm hoping. I'm hoping things drop a little bit more so I can scoop up a little bit more thing. But at the same time, if it doesn't, there's opportunities that are going to come in the future. I'm not worried about it. And the fact that I'm not worried about opportunity coming in the future shows you that I'm so bullish on BB because I think that there's going to be other things to come that will pump just as crazy as some of these things, if not more, especially when we get things with more utility or better graphics. And yesterday I talked about that too. I just want to clear that up as well. I was just making a point when I talked about the Call of Duty games and saying like people don't want the first Call of Duty game. They want like the last Call of Duty game, better graphics. Obviously, there's other games out there like Super Mario and uh super smash bros like the original in the box those goals for a ton of money i know that uh, i'm not blind to that i'm just saying other franchises other types of games nobody really wants to play like a ps2 game um in terms of utility like nobody wants to use the game as much as they want to use. like just like anything else nobody i think really wants to play an old call of duty over a new call of duty that was the point i was trying to come at in terms of utility so hopefully that helps to clear that up as well um I guess I also saw a tweet. I'm trying to find it. There was a tweet about that VV put out that said that there's not going to be a collectible drop. There's going to be, there's going to, okay, here it is. Here's some stuff. Um, they put out, they put out something saying that um, there's going to be three comic drops. I think Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And someone said, what's happening Wednesday? And they said, you get a day off. <laughs> I can't, I can't find it anymore, but I, I do see this. Hold on. Let me pull this up for you. Sorry, guys, for the dead air, but, uh, you know, hashtag blame Rob in the comments. If you haven't already, hashtag blame Rob in the comments already. I'm trying to find it for you. So, yeah, here you go. Uh, 
show us what you got for this. Oh, here it is. Show us what you got for this week. And then they put the skull. And Vivi said, comic Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. That kind of is a bummer for me, at least. But maybe we're getting some Star Wars comics near the end of the week. Are there any other big Star Wars comics that could come out? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Uh, is there another Star Wars comic that you're waiting for? I know you're probably not. Oh, our grip buddy, Cryptoni, is actually the one who asked the question. So what's for Wednesday? I didn't even realize it was him. Nothing. You get a day off. What's happening on Saturday? Probably something good. So are we looking towards Saturday now? Uh, that appears to be the case. <laughs> Cryptoni, this good? <laughs> and no reply, obviously. So um, maybe no reply is a good thing. Maybe second issue and third issue we need. Maybe all six, but I can live with the first three. Um, that's VV Arcade, another YouTube channel. Go check them out. Guys, I have no idea what to make of this. Um, they're trolling us like crazy. I didn't even realize you put the pepper there. Um, crazy. Nothing you get a day off. So Wednesday, we're getting nothing. But Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we're getting comics. We only know the Tuesday comic is that Baby Shark comic, uh, as uh, we like to call it out here. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, hopefully, it wasn't too, too boring without Rob here. I uh, tried my best. We were trying to get it to work, but it didn't, obviously, uh, with both our schedules. So anyways, if you haven't already, become a superstar. Hit the subscribe button down below. Let us know what you think in the comments. We love to reply to you. We're going to give you a shout out if you give us uh, what you think. Um, we like to have that banter back and forth as long as you're not just trashing on us uh, and you actually make a valid point like Kryptoni, solid point. Uh, like I said, we're going to make a video just talking about how we believe VV will do so well into the future. Um, it's definitely coming. I just want Rob there for it because uh, he has a lot of thoughts as well. So today I give you a little bit of a taste of why we still are very bullish on VV and what I'm doing with my gems. Because you guys know I'm sitting in gems, but I'm not worried. Let things pump. Let them go up. It means that it's good for VV long term. And next good thing's going to come out and there's going to be more and more grails. I'm not worried about it at all. Never to, never, never uh, be upset about sitting in gems at any point. I'm not taking the gems off the app. I'm not selling them for 50%. I'll tell you that much. So that might help you too, right? Um, but yeah, become a superstar. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification. You'll know when we post. Today was a late one uh, because we we're trying to figure it out. But if you have that bell notification, it's going to give you that notification right when we post. And you can pull it up wherever you are in bed, on the toilet, anything. Okay, guys? So we'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye.